Three cheese or four cheese manicotti? I'm gonna say today we'll do a four cheese because I've seen a lot of four cheeses on the internet and I don't wanna be the guy with the three cheese manicotti. So today, coming up, manicotti, episode five of the Sunday dinner. I'm Jim, this is Sip and Feast. Let's go over the rest of the ingredients right now. So here's all the ingredients for manicotti or manigot, how it's referred to in the New York, New Jersey area. It's how my mother, it's how basically everybody refers to it here, manigot. Okay, so Sunday sauce, critical to making this, but you can make a marinara if you really wanted to, but this is what it's all about. This episode two is the meatballs. My kids did the fried versus baked. They tested them. Brajol was episode number three. We used that sauce in all these. Love Brajol. Big ziti, it's so good. A lot of similar flavors to this Managotti. So we use Barilla brand because that is the only brand that they had in the store. It's, it's just not exactly a lot of brands of this. Parsley is an ingredient that is really nice in there. You could also use basil. You got for, uh, regular mozzarella and regatta. Palio brand, kind of the de facto brand in the New York, New Jersey metro area. It's kind of, they got a lock on the market. Parmesan Reggiano and Pecorino Romano. You can get really good quality of both of these in Costco, BJ, Sam's Club, pretty much all across the country now. Okay, it's also gonna have one egg in it. That always, that always goes in the mixture. I'm gonna grate this up. Now, grating up this hard cheese, use a fine grater like this or one of the bigger ones that you hand hold. And I'm gonna do half a cup of each roughly. Now if you like one more than the other, go for that, or if you only have one, then just use a cup of that. So I'm using a half a cup of each. I'm gonna put it in this bowl and just get it off to the side right now. Moving on to the mozzarella. Probably maybe maybe one third and two thirds. Two thirds of it we're gonna cube. It's very soft. It's not that easy to do when it's very soft. You're better off freezing it for at least an hour prior, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. It's uh, it's just, it's if you can remember to do it. I mean, if you have a completely frozen block, then that you might not want that either. So, you know, I'm working as best I can now and going to get some nice little cubes of it, little, little pieces. And I like the texture in it like that. For the, as far as the parsley goes, I always remove my stems. You probably always see me removing my stems in all these episodes, all these different dishes I make. And parsley is in so many of Italian and Italian American dishes. Like the super simple but amazing chicken piccata or linguine alla vongole. I always want a lot of parsley in that. Same thing goes for shrimp scampi. But yeah, let's get back to mincing this parsley. Doesn't have to be exact here. Use as much or as little as you like. About a pound of regatta is going in here. That was a two pound container. I used about a pound. And putting most of the little pieces of the mozzarella in there, putting all the parsley in here, trying not to dump the, <laughs> the glass container in there, and then getting the pecorino and the parmesan in there. I like a lot of pepper in here. Do this to taste. No salt right now. Let's mix this up first. And by mixing it right now, getting it to a smooth consistency, all the flavors distributed, now let's taste it. Let's see how our salt level is. This pecorino is very salty, but even with it being salty, I still need a little bit more salt. So now I'm gonna get this to the exact taste I want because there is no second chance here after you stuff it into the manicotti. So you got to make sure that your stuffing is, it has a good taste first. And you want to do that prior to putting the egg in because you know you don't want to do it, taste it with the egg in there. Got the manicotti shells, roaring boiling water, and general rule, always two tablespoons of kosher salt per gallon of water whenever you're boiling pasta. It's just an easy thing to remember. Okay, so the box instructions here, seven minutes, that's wrong. Do not follow the instructions. It, you'll have an overcooked pasta then because basically that's gonna cook it to pretty much done. You're gonna cook it another 20, 30 in the oven. So cook it under, cook it very al dente, even a little bit less than al dente. You wanna do that same thing on baked ziti. Remember we went over that in the baked ziti episode too. Same exact thing. You undercook your pasta for, for, for these baked pasta dishes. So I'm touching it right when I got it right, probably about four minutes I did, but just test it as you're boiling them. I like to put them all in a wire rack. This is probably the only time I'm ever gonna recommend that you put water, you know, that you run it under cold water, your pasta, because you gotta stop the cool, you gotta, you gotta be able to handle it right here. 
Still no oil. I don't ever use oil on pasta, in, in pasta water or anything like that. Okay, so sauce going to put a nice thick layer at the bottom of the pan here. This is where our, our stuffed manicotti is going to go. And it's, um, you know, I don't want it swimming, but I definitely want a lot of sauce down there. I don't want any sticking. So if you're going to use a big baking tray, same thing. Just coat it all. And I'd like to say that this is the easiest thing in the world to stuff manigot. It's not. It's really not. So it's, uh, and with, don't use the bag that I'm using here. These are, those are the more expensive Ziploc bags and they have this double bevel corner edge and it, when you cut it, it doesn't really give you that nice. So you actually want to cheap, the cheap bags that are like one ply and then you'll be able to cut them or a pastry bag if you have it. Now some people just spoon it in too. And some people will stuff the manicotti shells in a shot glass and so they can like stand upright and you just spoon it in that's actually i've seen i've seen it done that way you know i believe a family member used to do that all the time this is like very popular during christmas time like we'd make like my grandma would make a hundred of these sometimes 200 of them for a big family gathering and you know if you ever stuffed a cannoli shell that's pretty much what you're doing here now, some people will slit this and then they'll put the slit uh, face down so nobody knows, you know, nobody's wiser. And that's fine too if you want to do it. Some people will use lasagna noodles. Boil them al dente, put your stuffing in, roll it up, and works really well too. So they're all good. And I'm going to put a nice layer of sauce on top here. And now I got that, that, that last third of the mozzarella and I'm gonna put, coat it all on top here. Let's get a lot of cheese on this. This is, a, this is a cheese dish. This is a maximum cheese dish. So there's four cheeses in this and, uh, and they're all great. I'm gonna grate up a lot of Pecorino Romano. Grate whatever cheese you want. And it's ready to go in the oven. You can just tell already looking at it how good it's gonna be. So 400 degrees. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it doesn't really matter. Let it get nice and bubbly. Really just let all those flavors come together. And then look at that. Look how good that looks. A little basil piece gives it that nice color contrast for when you're serving it. And I think we definitely need to test this out and, uh, you know, take a bite. Grew up eating Southern Italian food only. So it was a lot of this stuff. This is the stuff that we ate all the time. You know, we did have seafood. We did have some more elaborate things, but we didn't have a lot of the recipes that are more popular on the internet right now. We did a, a, a lot of like the meatballs, the brajol, the baked zitis, the manicotti, and the sundae sauce. All the five things that were that are in this series. So I hope you watch them all and I hope to see you next time. Yeah, I think I got it. I think, I think we did all right there.